Hello and welcome back boys and girls. Today we have a special treat. We have a great story titled A Dancer's Tale. The story of Phyllis Spira. Are you ready? Yes. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the tale. Once upon a time in Jogsburg's Orange Grove, a little girl called Phyllis was born into the world. Two people in love hugged their sweet little babe. No one knew then what a dancer they'd made. By the time she was four, she had learned very quick. She impressed all her teachers with her ducky feet flicks. Before school and after, she danced every day. Nothing pleased Phyllis more than ballet. When the world was ready for Phyllis at 15, she arrived in big old London, ready to live her dream. She said goodbye to all her friends. She was ready to start fresh. Watch out, Royal Ballet School. Phyllis is here to impress. When Phyllis danced Swan Lake, it was fit to show the queen. After years of pirouetting, she was ready to be seen. Dancing for the audience, she turned and twirled about. Look, everyone is smiling. See how they clap and shout. From Mexico to Canada, from the USA to France, Phyllis traveled far and wide so the world could see her dance. With the Royal Ballet Company and her ballerina friends, she spread her love for ballet. She never wanted it to end. Phyllis always knew that dance was in her heart, but she longed to return home again and make a fresh new start. So she leaped and bounded back to her beautiful land. Her ballerina roots were regrown. She was once more South African. Dancing wasn't just for fun, as Phyllis always knew. She worked at dancing day and night, and with hard work she grew. Always smiling, always trying, through good times and through tough. Phyllis always did her best. She couldn't get enough. Romeo and Juliet, Swan Lake and Giselle. Phyllis danced these for the people, graceful, tireless well. With partners Gary Byrne and Edward Grayling too. Her magnificence inspired the audience. To her, flowers they threw. Reward comes easily when you put yourself to the test. Phyllis came to realize this once she was called the best. She was awarded Prima Ballerina Asaluta, the greatest dancer of them all. Phyllis would be forever known. She wanted nothing more. Goodness, what a catch! Phyllis met her loving partner. His name was Philip Boyd. He was another dancer. Together they were married and together they would dance. No one could be better match given half the chance. Though they had no children, Phyllis and Philip were never sad. The two of them found another way to help other moms and dads. They started Dance for All, a special school for dance, so that children with no money could also learn to prance. She left a legacy of dance and incredible success. Her magic was passed on to others to help them become their best. Her students spread across the world, inspired by her ducky feet. They danced on while we watch, dreaming from our seats. Thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe, like, and share. Thank you. Bye.